replenish the Such a nasty trust one. fund. If you become president, this country is going to be in some mess. The most dangerous person to run for president in the modern history of America. Many say that modern Americans aren't as nice as they used to be. As the media accelerates and influences the opinions of American citizens, hate speech and acts can accelerate as well. Um, I think politicians should act respectful to all kinds of people and uh, just really like aware of what's been going on in the media and not just like trash everyone that they possibly can. Whatever position you're in, whether you're a school teacher or a basketball coach or you're in charge of a business, your CEO or CFO, with the way social media is, especially cell phones that have video capabilities, almost every square inch of your business where you're at, you have to be cautious to make sure that you're civil, uh, to make sure that uh, you don't get angry or irate or do something, you know, a few seconds later you'll regret. I don't know what I said, uh, I don't remember. Political leaders often adopt and represent these hateful beliefs in an attempt to represent the people, with powerful leaders expressing prejudice or even hate towards certain sets of minorities, political heat rises like adding gasoline to a flame. When I go somewhere and, and we have a discussion about maybe a bill that's coming up or an issue, I've learned from a young age, uh, let someone get their point across, their point of view, even though it may be different than yours, because you, you don't know what kind of life experiences they have or experiences with issues that you have not. I think that politicians should uh, keep at least a decent uh, level of civility and uh, professionalism, but at the same time they shouldn't be afraid to express their opinions. So I think it's always good to listen, learn where they come from with their side of the issue, because a lot of us, we don't agree on a right or a left, but there's a lot in the middle that we can look at uh, both towards. With the right of freedom of speech, Politicians are free to speak their mind like anyone else, but the difference is the large publicity. When this publicity is used to single out minorities, it can incite riots, protests, and violent acts. These acts of hate can influence the American citizens with the most malleable beliefs. Children. A Michigan middle school is influenced enough to chant, build a wall, repeatedly during their lunchtime towards some Latino students. Having those conversations with your, your kids is really, really important. Um, because we're not there at school or, you know, for the majority of their lives, really, mm -hmm. to help them make those decisions. Americans really do see how our civil discourse has really become degraded. And frankly, that's a lot been led by politicians. Now the public itself seems to be feeling legitimated to also be more and more uncivil. You know, through this whole campaign season, we've listened and we've heard Donald Trump and our Republican colleagues uh, talk about stroking hatred, dividing our country, uh, trying to bully. Donald Trump has been trying to bully his way into the presidency. The way the president political figures act affects our country because um, if we were to ever get in a war and they have been acting bad in the media or something, uh, our allies could turn against us and then we'd have no one to help us fight the war to win. Political stability is key in keeping relationships and allies worldwide. Political figures are elected to be the leaders and the image of the country. And a leader should present an example to shape the actions of their followers in a positive way. So when leaders lack political stability and are elected, the image of the country can become marred. The behavior of leaders is what maintains support from other nations. Our message to Washington, D.C. is that without political civility, America will lose allies across the world and negatively influence today's youth. Lack of political civility is the most important issue in modern America. The American people have the opportunity to upright the ship, to change course again, which we have done. So I think that all has to do with civility. And uh, without it, we would be no better than Cuba or Iraq. Afghanistan, and I want to be different.